so many stories since we built this cozy book nook. And I just found these awesome new books at the library. They're all about barns. I think barns are so cool. Do you know what kinds of animals might live in a barn? Tell me an animal on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh wow, you are so smart. So many kinds of animals can live in a barn. Do you know my favorite barn animal? Yes, it's a horse. Do you know what a horse says? Nay, that's right. And this book says that not only do horses live in barns, but that farmers store their food in barns too. Here you go, little horse. If I had a big barn, I'd fill it with marshmallows. <laughs> or pancakes. <laughs> that would be so fun. Hmm. What else can I learn about barns? Ooh. Ooh. It's Oli! Hello, Peyton. Ho, ho. Reading all about barns, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I've learned so much from these new books about barns. Books are amazing. It's true. I know another story about barns for you. Listen to this one. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Hello friends, I'm Luis the Handyman. I'm organizing all my tools. And wow, do I have a lot of them. <laughs> I have three hammers. And two screwdrivers. And four wrenches. I really have more than I need. You know what? Jesus told an important story to teach us what to do when we have more than we need. Do you want to help me build it? Great! All right, hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. We have everything we need. Jesus told this story to teach us something very important. It begins with a farmer. The farmer grew a lot of good food for his family. Like, a lot, lot. <laughs> Look. Whoa, that's a lot of food, right? <laughs> Now he's got to put the food in the barn. Hmm. Can you tell me when the barn is full? Just yell, stop! Ready? All right, load it up! Oh, oh, okay, stop! The barn is full, the barn is full! <sighs> oh. The barn is full, but there's still more food. What should he do with all that extra food? Hmm. <gasps> then, Farmer had an idea. He would build a bigger barn. Bigger barn coming through. Then, he could fill it up and keep all the food for himself. It would be way more food than he needed, but he wanted to keep it all. Hmm. Tell me, is there anything else the farmer could do with all this extra food? Hmm? He could... Shh. 
share? Yes! He could share the food. Oh, you are so smart. <laughs> God had given the farmer way more food than he needed. He could have shared and helped a lot of people. <laughs> you know, sometimes God gives us more than we need too. So we can share with others. I can share my tools with others. What can you share with others? A toy? A snack? A turn on the swing? Hmm. We can share all those things. That's the very important thing that Jesus teaches us with this story. God wants us to share. <laughs> I'm so glad we have a friend like Jesus to teach us important things. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. See you next time. So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus taught people to share. And that is true for me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Boom. Boom. Wow. Jesus told a story about a barn to teach us that we should share. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. fun stories and this super cool book nook. I'm going to go share them with some friends. See you next time. Bye. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7:28. The crowds were amazed at his teaching, Matthew 7, 28.